The door opened, and Junpei and the others leapt through it. But no sooner had they done so than the clang of metal and metal rang out behind them. They spun around. The door they'd just come through had slammed shut. Junpei grabbed hold of it with bare hands and pulled with all of his strength. Ah! Damn it. It looks like it's automatically... Is there any other way out? Oh my fucking god. Well, there's another door over on the right. There's a car over here next to it. It's got a red light on it, though, so I'm pretty sure it's locked, too. But there is a card reader, right? Yeah. Then perhaps if we find a key card, we can open the door and leave. Well, yeah, that might work, but... Hey, hey wait a minute. Are you saying we're going to have to search this room for one little card? Oh, man. They took a second to look at the room they found themselves in. Fucking shit. It was filled with piles upon piles of all manner of things. The only word that could describe it was chaotic. It was like a tornado had passed through, followed by a giant who had picked up and shaken the entire room a few times. Junpei's heart fell. Clover, Seven, Clover and Seven looked as though they were about to cry. Well, we could sit down and wait to die if that's what you prefer. I rather doubt that, however, so it would be wise to start looking. We haven't much time. Let's find that key card. You aren't doing shit, Snake. Fuck you. Oh, and the Neptune key as well. We won't be able to get through the hallway without it. Thanks. Thanks, Snake. All right, then. Let's begin. Yeah, you ain't fucking doing shit. Oh. This better be the last fucking puzzle, or I swear to God. There are piles of crap everywhere. Man, this place is a fucking mess. It's so messy, I don't know where to start. Some of this crap looks familiar. I think a lot of these are parts of the puzzle we solved in the other rooms. God damn it. If that's true, then, this room could be Zero's laboratory. Perhaps Zero would show himself in this room to devise the machines and puzzles he'd need to see his plan come to fruition. Um. some old computer monitors on this desk. You don't see CRT monitors that much anymore. Gosh, this desk is really big and it feels really sturdy. Yeah, it does seem pretty heavy duty. I suppose it belongs to whoever uses this room, wouldn't you say? It's a chair. Hey Junpei, isn't this a nautical table? Yeah, I feel like I've seen this before. Look, Junpei, the rest on here is like Elvis's face. Also, amazing jump. I don't really know if I see Elvis's face on this, but... Uh, yeah, how exciting. I think some of these fans are for ventilation. They're probably there to circulate air. A pipe. Great. The screen is huge. I wonder why it's blue. Maybe if I touch it. There's something on the screen now. What is this? There's 15 cells here with numbers and layers in them. Let me see that. Oh, I see. So whenever you touch a cell, what next to it turns on or off? You just gotta use that to make the all cells on the right and bottom green. Uh. Hey, Junpei, I found this piece of paper under that thing. You wanna take a look at it? You think this might have anything to do with the puzzle? It's a piece of paper Clover gave me. There are a bunch of numbers and letters connected by equal signs on it. Just like she said, it's probably related to the puzzle on the screen somehow. Thanks, Clover. This really helps. Heh 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 heh. Alright, let's, 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 let's try this again. Anyways, it looks like I need to make all the cells all green. What the fuck is this? So, like... I see, okay. Well, this is just like the cheat sheet, right? Uh, okay, so... Okay, 
Uh, let's see, what was this? Okay, so this needs to be on. Uh, here we go. Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, okay, so all of these need to be on too. So this needs to be off. Uh, and how about, okay, so these, oh, so they all need to be on other than, oopsies, how did I, fuck. They all need to be on except for, uh, this one? Shit, okay, let's, hold up. Uh, Okay, I just need to travel. Fuck. I'm, I'm super bad at, at this. I mean, let, me, let me try. I just need to get this dot over here, basically. And okay, so. Uh, oh, fuck. Wait, yeah. I think. Which one is it? Uh. If this is F. Oh, this one also needs to be off. Fuck, right. This is B needs to be off. Uh, and let me try this again. So this one and this one. So. Uh, oh, that's funny. I fucked up. Up again. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, let me. Fuck. This is this is really gay. <laughs> um Okay, okay, okay. So I need to do the same thing here. I, I brute forced all the other ones. I might as well actually try and think about this one. I mean, we already know it just needs to be this one, this one off, right? So. Hmm. Maybe if I click on this one. Yeah, we, we figured out which ones need to be off. That's, that's like the easier part, but it's just really dumb. Like, this shit's really dumb. Um.
Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Okay, hold, hold, hold. Alright, so if this one needs to be off. Then it needs to be like this. The only problem is that so I need to get that one off too. There we go, there we go, there we go. And then, uh, fuck. Oh, wait, no, no, I need to get that. Wait a minute. Fuck, I already, I already fucked up. Uh. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm super dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I'm so fucking dumb. Oh, I, I should have seen that so much earlier. Fuck, I'm retarded. I somehow I expected the process. To, yeah. Did Junpei, you're so smart. You seem to have done an excellent job and solved the puzzle. Are they just trolling you? <sighs> just what I would have expected from you, Junpei. Hey, come on, you're you're embarrassing me. Whoa, whoa, don't get cocky, kid. We don't got time for that. Look at this. Check out the right edge of this control panel. The lid slid open, something came out. Uh, where? Here? Yeah. Cross emblem? Okay. The keyboard. Let's just tap a few keys and see if we can wake this thing up. Damn, no dice. There are three monitors here. The power's on, but there's nothing on any of the screens. It's so small, I wonder what it is. I've got no idea. A mouse. Nothing happens when I mess with it. Oh, I need to put the things there. I put in the emblems and the four thingies. Nothing's happening. Wait, what's Snake doing? I feel symbols engraved just above each indentation. On the upper left is the steering wheel symbol. On the upper right, the cross symbol. On the bottom left, the mysterious circle symbol. Last, the waffle pattern is engraved near the bottom right indentation. Additionally, each symbol seems to have been given a number. One steering wheel, two cross, mysterious circle, and four waffle. Perhaps we need to insert the symbols in this order. The order, huh? Well, we don't have, like, any of these other fucking emblems, so... God! Please don't tell me there's... Okay. I think I just need to turn this device according to the instructions on the nautical thingy. Okay, do it. What is it the same? 
mean? Is it the same nautical table? Oh, here we go. Oh, God. All right. Um, one, two. All right. Da, 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 da. All right. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's just backwards, baby. Da, 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 da. Okay. South. Solve the puzzle like one in the wheelhouse. I think we just need to do the same thing here. The important part is this nautical table we just found. I have to match up the direction of the compass with the lines on the nautical table. I use the steering wheel in the wheelhouse, but this time I think I'm going to use the wheel attached to the side here. Okay then, show me now. Of course. Maybe I ought to run through the instructions. This looks like it probably works the same way as the steering wheel and the wheelhouse did. If I just touch the direction I want to turn to, the compass will turn that direction. Then you just gotta press stop when the compass is pointing the way I want to. I'm betting something will happen if I can do it right. All right, let's do this. Uh, south. Oh, I get to see it. Oh, thank God. West. Uh, southeast. Northeast. East. North. East. Ah, oh. yeah, you did, Junpei. <laughs> good boy. Who's a good boy? Uh, knock it off. Hey, we don't have time for screwing around right now. Check out the right side of the monitor. It just kind of slid open, and something came out. Oh yeah, I heard a noise too. You know that big box in the big hall? I think it made a noise, like something unlocking. You know, a noise, huh? Wait, well, wait. It's right here, right? Yeah. All right, fucking all these stupid puzzles. Let's see what happens when I. <sighs> well, now we've got something on the screen at least, huh? What is this? Oh, wait a minute. I saw something like this when I figured out that Morse code puzzle. I, I wonder if there's like, gonna be a piano. Morse code. Yeah, the dots on here look like dits for Morse code. There's two dots in the first line, four in the second, and one in the first. I'm afraid I don't understand. But perhaps you should give it a shot, anyways. All right, well, I'll try. Before I do that, though, maybe I ought to run through the instructions. If I just tap the button, it'll enter a dit. If I hold the button down, under a da. Once we enter our answer, it'll automatically determine if it was the correct answer or not. All right, let's do this. What? Let's give this a shot. Before I do that, though, no, 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 no. I fucked up. But where's the? Uh, where is that Morse code? I already forgot what, it... what the fuck? But okay, well I wonder if there's a hint somewhere. Mel Shaw looks pretty sturdy. Frame with black and yellow. Warning stripes. Alright, let's open it. Holy shit, that's pretty damn creepy. There's a coffin in here. A coffin, a coffin. Oh man, does Seven think 
Yeah, he's all pale. He's thinking the same thing I am. No way, could this be? I'm sorry, but what's going on? It's a coffin. I wonder if there's a vampire in it, right? I guess Clover and Snake don't know the story. Man, I can't bring myself to tell them. <laughs> well, at any rate, let's have a look around. <laughs> there's a metal plaque on the coffin. The snake's touching it. All ice. Ah, the two machines. Holy shit, man, this is serious. Oh well, let's open it, shall we? Clover, if you could give me a hand. Okay, I got it. Ready, three, two, one. Huh. Uh... No luck, it doesn't seem to be ready to open. Yeah, but it's not like it's screwed shut or something. Yes, I believe it's locked in some other way. Hey, Seven, do you think you can open it up with your superhuman strength? No. <laughs> What's wrong? I think I'll just pass on this one, okay? What the heck? Very well, we'll just have to give up on that coffin for now. Let's look around the room a little more, shall we? Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge beneath the navel of the gigantic. Is that actually true? Oh, fucking shit. What the fuck is this? There's something written on these pieces of paper. It looks like we've got three sheets of stuff. Oh, most co oh, here we go. Wait, what? Uh... You think it's all ice? Have you figured out what you're supposed to enter? Mm, it looks like the word that's supposed to go here has three letters. It's got three lines, and I think each line is one letter. I see. Well, if that's the case, then perhaps the letters you need are made of, of two symbols, four symbols, and one symbol, respectively. Oh, two symbols, four symbols, and one symbol. Okay. Instructions. Oh, there we go. Wow, it does it for me. Oh yeah, it's just ice. I see, it seems you have solved the puzzle, Junpei. Excellent work. The answer was ice. How did you know? All I had to do was listen to the sounds that the machine made. After that, it was trivial matter to decode them. Oh yes, I believe I heard a noise from somewhere on the right side of the device after you solved the puzzle. It sounded rather like something sliding open. Do you see anything that could have made that noise? Yes, of course. Come on now. One more thing. I heard a sound from behind the shutter. Perhaps the coffin is unlocked now. What? All right, fine, I'll open it. Okay, Jumba, you can do this. It's just a box. Just a box. Holy shit, this is a coffin. There's gonna be something horrible in there. I just know it. Okay, okay, deep breaths. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> oh man, there's nothing in there. There's nobody in there. Shit, I can't believe I was scared of something like that. What do you mean nobody? Were you expecting someone to be in there? Uh, it's a long story. Ask Junpei about it sometime. Well, just like Seven said, there's nobody in there. There's something in there, though. Well, two somethings, actually. What is that? There are two things on the bottom of the coffin. Looks like we've got a plate with an emblem on it, and The Neptune Key! Yay! We found it! Now we can get through the hallway! That's correct, Clover, but we do need to get out of this room first, you know. I know, I know. All right, let's get the hat out of here as quickly as possible. I don't have any objections to that. I don't think we'll use a Neptune key in this room. It's really important, though, so I'll keep it in my fucking pocket, as far as this other thing goes. 
Alright. I don't actually remember the fucking order that he said, alright, but he better tell me it again. Where was the fucking computer? No. Put the emblems in, into the indentation. The indentations are numbered 1 through 4. And there are symbols for a steering wheel, cross, a weird circle, and some kind of waffle. Alright, but you want to tell us what the fucking... I don't fucking... Okay, well... There's a code. Symbols for a steering wheel across a weird circle and some kind of waffle pattern. Steering wheel across. Oh wait, what? Code emblem. A male plate shaped like a shield. It has some sort of weird pattern engraved on it. I don't know how to describe it. Considering we found it's probably a code. Oh, this is the steering wheel. Drop the emblem of the steering wheel in here. What the fuck is this? Well, now we've got something on the monitors, at least. What's that? Looks like some kind of puzzle. I wonder if these are the rules. Here, I'll read them to you. When you touch a numbered area, that area will be selected. It will turn blue to indicate this. Touching a numbered ball after selecting an area will cause that ball to be moved to that area. However, you cannot move the red balls. You can only move three to five balls in a single area. Press the check button once you have moved all the balls, except for the red ones, which you cannot move. Here's the rule the balls in the area must match the number for the area, that's it. Uh, I still don't really get it, whatever. Like they said, practice makes perfect. Let's give it a shot. Don't you mean practice makes perfect? Hey, let's see you solve the next one, then you can make fun of me. Fucker. Alright, so... What am I doing here? Am I just trying to... Get the digital root of both of these to other than nine, I guess. I guess. Does that really just work? Oops. There's still three more indentations left. I imagine something will happen when they are filled. Doesn't seem likely. Okay then. The indentations I'd ask. They have numbers one through four written above them. There are symbols for a steering wheel, a cross, okay, cross, a circle, then waffle. So, there's a cross. Now let's put in the emblem of the cross. Hey Junpei, something showed up on the screen. This puzzle sure looks a lot like the last one. Yeah, but there's more of those red balls you can't move. The number for each of the areas are different too. Looks like it's got the same rules as the last one, though. You sure you don't want to double check? Nah, I'll be fine. If I can feel I can just look at the screen over there, right? Anyway, let's. As they say, a picture is worth 1,000 wards. Let's give it a shot. Isn't that a picture is worth 1,000 words? Hey, shut it. At least I'm trying, alright? I don't get this, this, this humor. Okay, well. I wonder if, like, this is just fucking. Okay, well, okay. I didn't even bother counting this time. I was just like, uh, uh, let's see. Like, this this might just be hella silly. And, like, be this. Yeah, 
Is that really... Yeah, okay. There are only two left now. Okay then, puzzles, I guess. Uh, this, I think it was. I was putting the emblem in the secret code. Yeah, this puzzle looks a lot like last one. Oh my fucking god, I'm not even gonna read this shit. It'll be the third time I've done it. So this, um, uh, if you can't think of anything clever, please don't strain yourself. Man, fuck this snake guy. Fuck you. Fuck you, snake. I'll think of something. Alright, seven and seven. Uh, uh, I mean, it's it's honestly like probably just gonna do this. Is that? Oh, that's actually not right. Hold up, thirteen, fifteen. Ah, it's actually wrong. Okay, it's probably. Oh, I see. Oh, hold up. Hold up. It's a fucking dummy. Is this it? Oh, okay, no. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's dumb. Uh, let's see. I was like too lazy to actually count the first like two times. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens when I put the emblem in the coffin into this indentation. This is the fourth one. The puzzle looks a lot like the last couple. I think it's probably the last one. Once we solve this puzzle, I'm sure something will happen. All right, I'll solve it in no time. Eight and nine with more red colored balls. Let's see. Uh, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, so there's a two and a five. Let's. Or there's a two. There's two and a three. Uh, let's see. I guess we can make like seventeen. Yeah. Or wait, hold up. Um, yeah. Or wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 what? Nine, nine, huh? Well, it like, oh, it maybe just won't let me do that. How is that wrong? Nine, that's 17, that's eight, this is nine. Am I, am I like fucking up here? That's, that's 17, right? Why will not that not open the door? Okay. I mean, I guess I can do something else. I mean. I guess I can make this one. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, it has to be. Th wait, what? Wait, 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 isn't it? I. I wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where are the actual rules? Yeah, that's what I thought. The rules are displayed on the screen. Maybe I should just read it again. Yeah, how do I do that? When you touch the numbered area, that area will be selected. And it will turn blue to indicate this. Number ball after selecting an area will cause that ball to be moved to the area. However, you cannot move the red balls. You move three to five balls in a, in a single area. Okay. What? That, that doesn't... But how do I do that if if I if I don't even have what? I'm, I'm super confused. Can I put them? What? I'm super. What, what, what the fuck? Wait, 
do I just put them? Yeah, it says I have to have three, to, but how do I put three to five when I can only use like fucking five? Do I, can I do one by one? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Like, Wait, what? What? Wait. What? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Well, what the fuck was that? Ah, oh, fucking goddamn it. Okay, I see. The game told me. I got wrecked. picture and the drawer was a single picture he picked it up it was a photograph of four men oh hey involuntarily junpei's eyebrows shot up he'd seen three of them before what you had what wait is this oh yeah yeah, yeah. and this guy okay then who's that he'd been wearing the yeah wow okay yeah Second from the left was, yeah, that guy. He was the ninth man, yeah. Yeah, he got into our final one, man, that was end. Finally, the man on the very left, the man in the pinstripe suit. This motherfucker. Yeah, I guess it is. No doubt about it. But what did it mean? What was Ace doing in the picture? Perhaps more importantly, why were the ninth man and Cap in it as well? As Junpei looked closer, he noticed the expression on each man's face. Their smile suggested that they were close, at least to some degree. But why? How? What was the relationship between these four men? Snake's voice broke into Junpei's thoughts. You say Ace is in that picture. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was taken recently, though. Ace, the ninth man, and Cap all look about ten years younger. Hmm. Ah, so the ninth man, the man you found murdered in the captain's quarters, are also on the picture. Yeah. Is there anyone else? Or are there only three people in the picture? I'm afraid I can't see it. Thank you, Snake. Now there's one more guy. He's got kind of long hair. He looks smart, but a little cold. He's the only one I don't recognize. Hmm. Snake hit Snake in his eyebrows. What's the date on the photograph? I bet that's... I guess that's the guy that was, like, fucking Snake. It's probably the guy Ace killed. It doesn't have one. Did you look on the back? The back? Yeah, the reverse. The other side. Junpei flipped the picture over. There it was. To be precise, it wasn't a date, but it was certainly significant. He read it out loud so that Snake would not be left in the dark. Praying for the success of the nunnery project. With Nijisaki, Kobuta, Musashido. Nunnery project. Nijisaki, Kobuta, Musashido. Junpei immediately flipped the picture back over. That meant that the four men in the picture had run the nunnery game nine years ago. Only Hongo had not been mentioned on the back, which Junpei felt meant he had written those words himself. But what surprised Junpei was not this revelation, but the fact that it was nothing like a revelation. It felt obvious. That their true identities did not come as a surprise was what Junpei found most surprising. Why then? Why wasn't he surprised? Junpei had just discovered that Ace had run the nunnery project, but... He felt no spark of excitement, no surprise, nothing. It was almost as if he had already known. Uh, of course, I understand now. 
Junpei looked over at Snake, and in his own confusion, he had missed the dark look on the other man's face. Ace was the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical. He was the one who invented the game nine years ago. He was Gentaro Hongo. Ace's Hongo? Even as he asked, Junpei felt as though he had already known. It was as if someone had whispered into his head that, yes, of course, Ace was Hongo. Yes, of course, Ace was Hongo. I had my suspicions from the beginning. Their voices were familiar, too familiar to be a coincidence. I could never forget his voice. It was the voice of the devil. I couldn't be sure, though. After all, I had no way to check. I certainly couldn't ask him. Even if I had known, however, I would never have told you. Zero made it quite clear what it would have happened if I did. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Hmm? I didn't know that Ace was Hongo. Oh yes, I suppose you wouldn't have. Nine years ago, you were in Building Q in Nevada. But Hongo was in the Gigantic with us. I know, that's why I didn't know what Hongo looked like. But why? Why didn't you tell me? I mean, I'm your sister, right? You, you could have told me. I'm sorry, I apologize for keeping this from you. But if I had told you, Clover, you wouldn't. You would have told everyone else. And if you did, then I would have been forced to tell them what had happened nine years ago. I had to prevent that. Clover and Snake's conversation wasn't of particular interest to Junpei. He still couldn't make sense out of his strange feelings of knowledge. He was trying to organize his thoughts when he heard Seven's voice. Hey Junpei, you think I could borrow that picture for a sec? He had no reason to say no, so Junpei handed the picture over. Seven stared at the picture and began to mutter the four names of the project's leaders over and over to himself. Hongo, Kobuta, Nijisaki, Musashido. His brow was furrowed and his face was flushed. Hongo, Kobuta, Nijisaki, Musashido. He chanted their names himself, pacing back and forth across the floor. Hongo, Kobuta, Nijisaki, Musashido. Seven couldn't have known their names, shouldn't have known their names after all. He hadn't been there when Junpei and Snake had spoken of them in the library. But as Junpei watched and pace, it was clear that he did know them. Hey, Seven, do you? Shut it! <laughs> just, just, just be quiet. His eyes were red and Junpei could see sweat beginning to bead on his forehead. I'm this close to remembering. This close. He was sweating heavily now, but his lips were dry. Hongo, Kobuta, Nijisaki, Musashido, Cradle Pharmaceutical, Nonary Project. Blah. Then he stopped. Seven sat down the picture and looked at the red light near his feet. His eyes narrowed. Then suddenly his eyes went wide and he shot straight up. Shit. What? What's wrong? <laughs> Holy shit. This is nuts. <laughs> Uh, what's nuts? I remember. Remember what? Everything. Everything? Yeah, yeah, I remember it all. My memory's back. I remember what happened before it got snatched. Seven's voice was filled with excitement. Shock and excitement had frozen Junpei in place along with Snake and Clover. Let me tell you what happened. Seven hastily drew a shaking hand across his mouth and began to speak. Like Snake said, Ace is Hongo. From the right, the other three are Musashido, Nijisaki, and Kurobuta. Musashido was the man with the cash. Nijisaki was Hongo's right man, and Kobuta developed the actual technology, te technical details of the experiment. Realization began to dawn on Junpei along with a pressing question. How do you know all this? Come on, man, I told you, I finally got my memories back. No, that's not what I meant. I'm trying to ask you why you knew all this stuff in the first place before you forgot it. Seven rubbed the scar on his chin. You really want to know? Of course. Me too. Snake was the only one who didn't voice any sort of agreement. It looked to Junpei as if he simply was waiting to see where Seven's sudden recovery might take them. This is going to take a while. Hell, it'll probably take me a good three days to tell you everything. But we don't have three days. Just give me the short version, all right? Short version, no. Oh. The big man pulled off his hat and scratched his head. He made a face and put his hat back on. All right, fine. I'll give you a shot. No promises, though. Junpei and Clover nodded earnestly. 